Hi, welcome to today's very exciting live styling session with Kettlewell Colours and Jane Galpin, who is stylist to the one and only Dame Prue Leith. We are so excited about today's session. We've been working with Jane for over a year now and I can't wait to get stuck in. But before we do, quick introductions. I'm Jo, I'm the lead stylist at Kettlewell and I'm joined by Melissa, our founder. Hello, everybody. And Jane, who is obviously, as we say, Prue's stylist. So the way we're going to run things today, I know we want to get stuck straight in and look at the amazing clothes in the edit from our collaboration with Prue, which Jane has been working with us on. And I can't wait to get stuck into that. But before we do, I kind of want to talk to Jane a little bit about your background because you've got such, apart from working with Prue, which must just be the most amazing experience, Jane has got such an amazing background in fashion, in television. And I just want to talk a little bit about that before we get too stuck in today. So should we have a little catch up? And then I know Melissa and yep. Jane are going to go through the edit yes. and talk about some of how Prue would style it, some of how Jane would style it, yeah. a little bit of everything. Okay, well, I'll leave you to, to it and see you in a minute. Hello. So, hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today, Jane. It's such an honour. I'm working with you over the last year or however. Has it been a year? It feels like a... <laughs> it feels like it's, like it's flown months, by. Months, um, yeah. Yeah. Working on this collaboration, I feel like I've learned so much from your amazing expertise. But before we get stuck into all of this, I want to share a little bit more about you. So your background is fashion through and through, isn't it? It's TV, it's fashion. Give us a potted history of Jane. Gosh, that's a long, <laughs> that's a long story. So um, yeah, I was brought up in a coach business actually, um, but ended up in fashion. So my mum was like a self-taught tailor. So there was this industrial sewing machine at home. So oh, when wow. mum and dad were out working, I was sort of starting to experiment. So that's sort of how I got into the fashion industry. Um, I was inspired by mum really. Um, so I did um, a, a fashion and textiles course in Plymouth, and then I went on to Bristol and I did a degree in fashion and textiles. So yeah, so that's my sort of heritage. Um, being brought up in a family business, we sort of just made everything happen when it needed <laughs> to happen. So I guess that's in, in my DNA. Yeah. Um, I, uh, I graduated and um, started um, on the Clothes Show TV. So a very, familiar name to those, many of us. <laughs> those that remember it, mind you. Um, but it was a really exciting era and um, it was just such fun. And I think I'm naturally a sort of event organiser, just in the fact that everything we did was on location. There were no studios, like you've got your lovely studio, we didn't have a base. Oh wow, so, so you're really we creating on the go. <laughs> wherever it was in the world and, and, and just make, you know, tell the story and make things happen. So that's how it naturally Amazing. evolved. So I guess we were the first people to do makeover on television. So, and you've worked on more than one makeover show, haven't you? Maybe, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. So, worked on Close Show TV. We launched Close Show Live, which was really exciting, bringing the the consumers together. That was fantastic. Um, I've also um, worked on Style Challenge, which was a makeover show, um, which was a race against time. Those that will remember it, it the, the mirrors. These used to be my favourite things on TV. Yeah. I still oh, love watching all of these. That. Yeah, but it was such fun working with the hairdressers. I mean, you know, that was really exciting. The Style Challenge. Um, and I, um, gosh, I've worked on um, How to Look Good Naked, 10 Years Younger, uh, Your Style in This Hands, on Discovery, um, just lots lots of, of different fashion and So you've, had, you've got your fashion heritage, your training, fashion and then you've heritage. been in the show business world for a while. Yeah, so, and then yeah. you started working with Prue. How did that come about? Because some of my friends um, obviously stayed in the television mm. industry and one of them had brought um, My Kitchen Rules to Channel 4 at, at okay. the time. So Prue was asked to present it and obviously I'd worked with them on the closure. So they said, Jane, can you come in and help us? And I worked with a, an amazing stylist called Claire Ginsler, who's awesome. We worked together very closely. So we styled Prue for that and then Bake Off happened. Mary left, Prue joined Bake Off. So she asked us to go um, over to, to work with her on Bake Off. And then Prue said, hey, I want to do you know, my own collections and stuff. So yeah, it's been really exciting been doing working with Prue. Everything, hasn't she? Yeah. I mean, she's just that love of colour that she has. She's managing to inject it into. I know we've seen the glasses. We've obviously had the jewellery um, in our collection, some of that edit. But yeah. that must have been amazing to work on all these collaborations with Prue, who's so confident and amazing with colour. She is 
a legend today. <laughs> you know, she is full of life and she's such a great, strong woman. She knows what she, she wants. She, she wants to really empower women with colour, which is why it's so fantastic oh, working such together. A wonderful collaboration. Um, her, her love of colour is amazing. She'll never understand why people aren't, aren't really sort of, you know, investing in lots of colour <laughs> pieces. You know, rather than say a handbag that sits under the table, she 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 she's just like, come <laughs> she on, wearing let's, it, let's, full let's on. see it. You know, in in, yeah. in the image, so, and it's kind of become part of her almost her brand, hasn't it? Is the vision of Prue is this confidence and color, and I think empowerment is such an amazing word for what she represents and stands for, isn't she it? She empowers so many people. It's 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 her her joy of life, her joy of living. She works harder than all of us put together. She works day and night. She doesn't stop. I know Melissa and said on the shoot actually that Prue was just, everybody else was shattered. And Prue just kept going, kept going, got through as many outfits as our professional models do. Just yeah. a huge energy. I mean, supermodels, they always used to say would get out of bed for money. Prue would get out of bed for colour. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's, that's just part of her, her life and stuff. So it's a joy to work with her, really is. Incredible. And then we were lucky enough to, I mean, to talk, so you came across Kettlewell first, didn't you? You introduced Prue to Kettlewell, is yeah, that Yeah, right? I mean, I was always quite impressed by the basics because, you know, you know, to really build a capsule wardrobe, to have really good basics is everything. And they're usually restricted to classic colours. Yeah. And what was quite exciting, you know, obviously with Prue, there was this need and hunger for colour. <laughs> colour, colour, colour. And um, so, um, yes, absolutely. Um, uh, Claire and I, um, you know, discovered Kettlewell and then that was it. We, we, we got some basics in and then we saw you were expanding and doing more exciting things. So, yeah. So yeah, absolutely. I think as so soon as we all started to talk, it just felt so natural, didn't it? It felt it like the most obvious collaboration. Organic yeah. is the truth. And it, I think it, it's an organic uh, relationship because it, it's just, it's just harmonising passion and love. And, and your understanding of colour, I'm more of you. <laughs> yes, you know, you know, I, I our, don't we've... know much about colour analysis and it's been wonderful. <laughs> you, really clearly it comes this. naturally to you, obviously. I mean, you've got such an amazing eye and I mean, working with you and discovering all those little details, I know Melissa and you are going to talk about some of them in a moment, but just uh, for me, seeing Jane work and kind of going, oh, well, actually, if we just tweak this neckline a little bit or, you know, that sleeve length just a little bit to make it the perfect flattering, you know, the way it's going to sit, the way it's going to hang, it's just going to work that little bit better or different ways of styling things was such an education and to kind of bring together your styling expertise, Prue's love of colour and our expertise in colour and the, as you say the basics in colour that we do which is what we've always prided ourselves on I think it's just been a really happy collaboration and obviously we're here as we record this on the day of the launch of our second edit with Prue which is so exciting the spring summer was a huge success including one of our best-selling stripy tops of all time which I know you're going to talk about in a bit um, but it's just been such an amazing experience and I'm kind of I want to get you and Melissa stuck in talking about this um, so I think I feel like we should wrap it there and you should get stuck into some styling talk with Melissa. How does that sound? Bring it on. Let's go for it. Hello, so I'm, I'm, I'm back. Um, so Jane, we have been working together now for several months, haven't we? And um, what we didn't realise is how well we were going to get on. Uh, the minute I met Jane, I just thought Jane is my sort of person. Really, really positive energy. And we started talking about uh, the Prue edit and these ideas just flowed. I mean, Jane, you are an amazing inspiration and, and I have learned so much from you. So um, if you don't mind sharing a few of your tips with um, our listeners, that would be fantastic. Um, I suppose one of the things that I, meant, I heard Joe mention about the, um, the, the Prue brush on stripe, I mean, that has been a sensational hit last season. Uh, we sold that so fast, we ordered as many as we could, uh, and then we sold that again. So um, here we have last season's um, Prue Bresham, this is the one we're talking about. I think we're going to have to do them again next summer, aren't we, um, I Jane? think we have to because it's been such a joy. Do you know what I absolutely love about Melissa and the team here is that they're just so open, you know, and it's cast going, can the stripes wider? <laughs> wider can we bring in three colors can we do this can we do that and um it's been i i, I love bretons they are uh they're a staple of mine i think most people love yeah. that breton style um top but it's just so lovely to move out of the classic maybe obvious and just have a twist to it yeah. and i think that's what um you've really helped us bring alive prue adores them um she just absolutely loves this this mix of color it was such fun 
putting this one together, wasn't it? Absolutely. And I, I really, this is my all time favorite, by the way. I love the lime and, and, yes. and, and the yellow and the green, but this one for me is a personal favorite, which I absolutely adore. So I could wear this hundred ways. And you're going to share and this one in a minute. You're right for that, but I'm gonna yes, have this one. You're gonna have this one because <laughs> it is literally the last one in the building. Um, but um, one of the things that we talked about was the neckline, because I remember you saying, oh, the neckline, there's a boat and then there's a boat and it has to be the right shape of a boat neckline. So tell us about what, what needs to be right about this boat neckline. Yeah, I, I, think, I think, you know, for, for me um, and, and a lot of women I know, and I think this is the, the experience that I've had over the years with hundreds and thousands of makeovers in, you know, when we did Style Challenge, we did about 400 shows, for example. Um, but it, it, I think it's the typical French way where the boat neck is so high, it can catch your neck, which uh -huh. isn't comfortable to wear, isn't as flattering maybe. Yes. You know, some of us will lose some shape in our necks as, as we get older. And I just think it's just really flat if you just have that slightly lower, slightly lower, lower curve. And then you can put a necklace or a scarf on it. Yeah, but, but yeah. high enough to, high enough to, to yes. have the look. Just the right. Yeah, because it, right. it, it was just so lovely that you, you, you were open to, to yeah. that little tiny tweak. And I think that that just creates a, just a, a great look, and you get the really the real strength of pattern just here under a jacket, or yeah. you know, you know, which showcased you know uh, with the necklace if you like, you 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 really get to see a good you know um, depth of pattern, yes. which I always like. Yeah. I don't particularly like um, necklines too low unless um, say you know you 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 had a sort of curvier shape, so we want to flatter with a V. Um, and uh, for example, with the scoop, it, it, it's just for me, not being too low with the scoop, mm -hmm. you know, it's like, is it going to work with the necklace? Is it not? You know, yeah. and, and so on. Yes, and so it's on. all those heights, isn't it? Heights yes. and scales and depth, yeah. as you say. And so this is last season's. Hopefully we're going to do some more next spring, summer. And what I love about uh, what we try to do at Kettlewell is you take a piece from one season and then you buy a new piece from the next season. So what have you styled this with, Jane? And from by the way, I love that about Kettlewell because once you find the shape Number one, once you, you're with the colour queen here, the colour experts <laughs> with Joe and Melissa, but once you find the, the shape of a garment that really flatters you, you know, for me, I will buy that forever because that will be a, 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 a staple mm -hmm. uh, item that's in my wardrobe because it will work every time. Then keep trying different shapes. So I'm a great believer if you can find the right cut, the right fit, and obviously the right colours to suit you, mm -hmm. that that is just a wonderful foundation okay. to, to, to work with. So. Anyway, so what, how would I wear it? How would Prue wear it? So we... Well, a bit of both, but I know that we've got, a, you know, one of the new styles. Um, this, this is a talking piece, isn't it? Yeah. I this love style. this. I just want to put this on. This isn't my style, so I'm not going to. But this is, I just love, I adore this piece. This is just so Prue. I love the sort of shape of it. Prue loves a long waistcoat. See, and I would naturally um, be showing That's this good. to Prue and I know she would run off with it because she would just love that sort of thing. Well, she's got the, she's got the boat neck. She's got the striped boat neck. So now yeah. we have the tailored waist, waistcoat and this is in the festival fuchsia. And there's a little bit of a story behind this um, waistcoat because um, when I was working with Jane, I asked Jane, well, what would Prue like to wear? You know, perhaps we can, you know, create a sample. And she said, well, Prue loves a gilet. It's a, a good excuse to layer colour, isn't it? Yeah. And they're very flattering. Um, but it's not something that we'd done before at Kettlewell. You know, we specialise in the Jersey basics. Um, but anyway, we weren't defeated and we found a factory and um, just lift it up a little bit higher. There we go. We found a factory and here we are with Jane's help. Um, we've got this, I mean, we've got this beautiful, simple styling, but it's tailored. And I'll just show the back here and some tailoring and a split at the back here. And how else would you wear that? Because I've seen, watched you today, Jane, styling it um, many different ways with different tops, yeah. haven't you? Well, it's lovely. For me, I'm always cold. So I'm always grabbing for a scarf naturally. <laughs> I just can't help it, but I always love I love that, and by the way, um, I love this piece, and it's so fun to add the sort of tonal um, texture. It's something Prue really loves, so yes. I knew she would she would really like that. But what I love is the shaping on this; it's so flattering and streamlining. Mm -hmm. um, and the beautiful thing you get this pattern at the top here, mm -hmm. so this can draw your eye up to the top. It can make you look taller as well. So it's mm -hmm. it's it's a flattering item all round. But it's just yeah. lovely to have that bit of fit. But for me, I mean, with the Breton, going back to the Breton, so yeah. 
we'll just take away the tailoring for a moment. Sorry, I'm getting excited with scarves. <laughs> you know, but for me, I would, I would, for me at the weekends, this would be me. This would be me adding my colour, adding my sort of, you know, comfy yeah. denim jacket. So this and is actually, one of Jane's jackets. Will you just hold that for me? So, so for me, I'm always, always wanting mm. to show detail at the cuff line. So I always want to, you know, show off a breast and I'll be, I'll be rolling up the, the top layer, whatever that is, jumper or whatever. And I would want to see this pattern, mm -hmm. you know, at, at the wrist line. So whether that's a summer length where it's shorter or, um, you know, in the winter longer, which is a favorite of mine, yeah. my long <laughs> sleeves. Um, so just to really sort of get that fun, that fun pop of color here and here, I just think it's just really flattering. And I just love the way you can just scrunch up a sleeve and just yes. feel really comfortable. Yeah, so that's jacket. sort of typically how yes. I would put that together and probably add a scarf. And add a scarf, always the scarves, <laughs> I love it. And actually, um, Jane, I'm just looking at what you're wearing because you're so creative, you're so, and it, and it just looks wonderful. I mean, it would be quite difficult for me to sort of start with this, but it looks so, it just works on you. How do you do that, that mixing stripe and print? How, is it just an instinct or? How do you know what to do with with, with print? I don't, I don't know really, because I don't spend long. <laughs> I just sort of throw it together and hope it works. But I think, you know, here I'm wearing colours that don't actually go with each other necessarily. Um, but I, I just love pattern. I think it's a textile training I had. I love traveling and I just love to see all those textures and, and yes. uh, prints and you yes. know, patterns and, 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 you know, embroideries and textures together. So I guess I just sort of, love that sort of you know eclectic bit bohemian yes. style so you i just throw it together on. and i absolutely adore your 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 kelly wellies because number one can you, you see our kettle wellies no see oh well jane's got the kettle wellies on well i might uh, have to give them. you a lift <laughs> yeah well of course i've gone for the green ones i would be but i live in in wellies because I, I live in the country i'm always walking my dog yes and i wish i'd had these this morning oh. so um because, well you must take those home with you yeah because they're just so easy you can just slip them on it's just fantastic and our weather quite frankly in in england isn't always as sunny yeah. and and dry i'm just going to hold a pair up that i made earlier <laughs> this is the um kettle welly um that jane's wearing and um and they're just really easy slip on wellies and and fun colors they're with the rainbow stripe cute. yeah they're just such fun i absolutely love them and they're just so easy you can just slip them on like slippers yeah. And you're sorted, aren't yeah. you? Apart from that, it's very fashion. <laughs> <laughs> Which leads me to the next layer that you're going to put on top here. Oh, yes. Well, so, talking of textiles and textures, okay. that I love this that we've developed for Prue, which is this lovely sort of velour jacket. See, I, I love the colours all being a bit off. I wonder if Joe's going to tell me off <laughs> for, for, for my colour um, uh, fixes. But I just love texture and colours. And for yes. example, I, I would just throw something like this on if I just wanted that little bit of glamour, yes, you know. I know. And so this is, I mean, this is our new, this is from the Prue edit. This is the new exciting velvet jacket. Um, and it's got, it's made from 80% modal, which makes it super soft. And actually, as you wear it, the texture forms because uh, it comes through and it's really, really soft. And then, and then, you know, the colour and texture and the luster come through. But I love what you're doing in terms of all the layering. Yeah, with it. see, and I, I love it. So obviously I've got my long sleeve on, but I love the fact that, you know, you can actually just neatly fold this up. Yes. And you can showcase a bracelet or a pattern or, you know, whatever you, you choose to wear. Or, of course, you can just, you know, uh, ruche it up and it stays. Yeah. yeah well, that. this was actually one of the, your design details, Jane. So what Jane's done here is... Um, I don't know if you can see, but it's got a cuff here and you can turn it over. And it's, uh, for some people, you know, um, if the sleeves are too long, it's a little bit annoying, but you can turn them over, show whether you've got a stripe or a print underneath and it's still, the cuff looks neat. Or, a lovely, seen. or a lovely watch. You know, how watch. many times are you wearing a gorgeous exactly. watch and you can't see it yeah. <laughs> at no, the wrist? Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Showcase those accessories. Yeah. And then um, I just love all your clothes, Jen. I'm just noticing. I've just noticed this. This looks rather wonderful. Tell us about your. Oh, I love this cardigan. Yeah. What What I love about this again, it's it's texture, and of course, with our lovely Prue jumper. Yeah. Again, one of my absolute. This is favorites. another one from the Prue edit. This um, cashmerino stripe, and again. Yeah. 
I remember you saying, you know, we were very, you were very particular about the width of the stripes, getting that wide stripe. And um, again, the colours are really exciting. Yeah. And we chose those together. Yeah, it's just, it's just such a lovely jumper. I just love it. I love that pop of pink. I also love the other colour waves, by the way. I do, I do Ooh, love tonal. I think I've got one here. I do love tonal things. By the way, I'm dying to put this jacket on Jo with her lovely um, moss yes. top because oh, that would be amazing. That's on the beauty, isn't it, with Kesselwell, yeah. that you, you've got the array of colours. So, yes. you know, I often don't wear bright colours. You know, Prue would love me to wear a really super bright colour every day, but sometimes I, I just want to just great colour um, yeah. and that's what I just love and if I you know with this I'm just adding something with my multicolor so this is my scarf fix in a jacket <laughs> love that oh and you said tonal um, I think we've got another piece here yeah, we'll yeah. together so this is gorgeous I, and, and, and Prue's a great fan of tonal but I love the way that you you put these colors together with this gorgeous tonal um, fix with this lovely um, touch of pink here and of course this is one of I mean, the reason for that is that Kettlewell, obviously, we don't just do colour, we do colours for each of the different palettes. So this is the tonal, softer summer palette. So you still want to wear colour, but maybe um, just somebody who just isn't going to wear such bright colours. And that's, that's just really pretty and tonal and easy to and what, wear. What I love is, you know, again, you can stay tonal with, with the sort of, you know, Yes. Full tonal going on here with some pink, lovely pink lip, lipstick would look absolutely gorgeous. Of course, if you just feel a bit more punchy that day, a bit sort of, you know, you want that real pop of colour, you know, it's just wonderful that you can just add, you know, that pop of, of pink to enhance this pink. Yeah. Um, but I just, I just love that, you know, and I'd add like maybe a Sophia pendant there. Oh, and just yes. add that, one of the that, that sort of pop of colour. I don't know which ones we've got here. I've got one here. This is one of the, yeah. um, the Ziska necklaces um, that have been very popular so and actually this is adjustable so you can yeah they're really best on there you can wear them high you can yeah. wear them low but it's just yeah. a, another way where you can just add a, a add sort of adding of texture adding yeah. different dimensions um sort of building a look isn't it building That's a look i love i, I love think that. that but isn't it nice you know if you're you're, you're you're lounging around in your lovely you know cozy jumper and suddenly a you know a friend rings hey do you fancy going for a coffee or yeah you know, going for lunch? it's just like on yes. with that on with the accessories you get your coat yeah. on it's a chilly outside and off you go looking super stylish oh i love it excellent Right, what else have we got to show? I mean, we've got other colourways in these lovely velvet, which are all going to be up on the website. Yeah, the, these um, are just such lovely colours, aren't they? The, the, these aren't these they great? Velvets. Well, I love what you did here. Tell us about this one, Jane. Oh, yeah. So, so for, for me, you know, I, I, love, I love the colour, I love the textures. So, so, for example, here's our wonderful new autumn winter. A velvet jacket we're talking about um what i i absolutely love here is by adding you know scarves of color and also this is i picked this up on holiday but i find in the winter i still want my scarf because yeah. i might feel naked without a scarf or in the summer but, even. but sometimes yeah. it's warmer it's yeah. colder so yeah. that's whether i'll be wearing a wool yeah. one or a cotton one yeah. i wear them throughout throughout the years in this country yeah, <laughs> yeah i know. do too actually. so they're, they're yeah. always at hand and i'm always cold i always get cold and i absolutely love this is one of my favorite pieces, you can see how it's actually quite tired. And the last, this is my second one. It's actually from Celtic. It's absolutely gorgeous. I wore my other one so much that my cat started to inherit it when it, <laughs> when it tore. I think I tore it on a court on something, but I got another one and I just absolutely love this. So I love this sort of layering, you know, again, it's, it's yeah. play on textures, fabrics, yeah. colors. And I would probably, you know, just have maybe a navy top underneath that, you know, just. Yes, I, I was love feeling that, that you've got, because I, you know, obviously Celtic's one of our sister yeah, brands really nice, that we yeah. work with. And here we've got, you know, a Celtic piece with Kettlewell and with a print scarf that you picked up. Yeah. So I love, I love the sort of building of a look and the story behind a look as well. Yeah, and it's lovely in the story of Celtic, the memory of my holiday. Yes. The, the gorgeous, you know, working yeah. with Prue. I, th I, th I have a lot of that with, with um, items I buy. I have wonderful memories and associations, and that means a lot to me. Yeah. And I put them together. Yeah. No, so, yeah. That's wonderful. And then on a sort of, you know, another day, I, again, I'm mad about this waistcoat. I love it, this long gilet waistcoat. But this is another top I've just ended up living in. In, in again, it's a pattern, as you know. I'll throw mm -hmm. a scarf on. Um, but, you know, and if I want to be really tame if you like on that yes. day i would just wear it like this 
So, um, yeah. you know, it's just another way of, yes. of, of Can, for me, wearing print. You don't always have to be full on and clashing, even though I tend to. Yeah. yeah, no, I love it. I love your style, Jane. It's so individual. It's really, really brilliant. Um, oh, and I've I'm just sneaking back at the side. <laughs> this oh. is just all, there are so <laughs> many amazing tips. <laughs> Maybe we'll wait till the cameras stop rolling, given my propensity for dropping things on the floor flinging hangers around every time I'm on camera. Um, but so amazing to see these catalogue pieces mm. paired, you know, talking about how you would style it for Peru, but also how you wear it yourself with quite a different style, you know, how the same pieces mm -hmm. um, kind of pull together with pieces from your own wardrobe can really, you know, can really work so well. And I'm feeling really inspired about the velvet jacket in particular. Yeah. I'm another lover of texture. I don't get mad on print, but I do love texture and the yeah. thought of things like the velvet I and the fur together that just feels yeah. such a kind of because I love a relaxed look mm -hmm. you know the idea that you can take something as sumptuous as that velvet piece that you might wear for a special occasion but really kind of dial it down mm -hmm. and make it something really wearable I love that idea of kind of dress it up dress it down mix yeah. and match you know pulling yeah. different bits and I love you talking about the stories and memories that go with clothes because I think a really good wardrobe is built around those stories and those memories and I know when we've had stylists before it's something we often yeah. talk about but I hope this has given everybody a little bit of a, a sneak peek about what's in the Pru edit and a little bit of what we offer at Kettlewell and a tiny sneak peek into the huge expertise that Jane brings to the edit. And I do hope we get to continue working together and we're all looking for Prue Breton Mark II, certainly. <laughs> yes. um, if you want yeah. to find the edit online, you can shop it in the link below. It's all up there live on the website. I don't imagine it's gonna hang around for very long because as we saw with the spring summer edit, it was just so amazing and vibrant and colorful. Mm. Everybody just grabbed it immediately. Yes. I think everybody wanted a bit of that, that Peru confidence and empowerment in their yeah. own wardrobe. But thank you so much for joining us, thank uh, you, Jane, Jane and Melissa. And I hope yeah. it's given you a little bit of an insight into our world of color. <laughs>